Hello everyone, my name is Dr. David Mesarosh. I'm the CEO and founder of SmartCast, the Smart Agricultural Project. This is our presentation for Smart Summit 2020. You can find the timestamps down in the description together with our links to the social media and our website. Let's tune into the presentation. So who are we? What are we doing? We are SmartCast BV, which is a tech startup focusing on merging various emerging technologies to achieve optimal conditions for food and water production but not only food and water production. We are also focusing on climate control, energy and water management, and various other sub-industries that are related to these emerging technologies, but more on that later. As you can see, we are a Dutch company. Our headquarters are based in Amsterdam. However, we have a global team of experts from virtually every single continent. Uh, we are a startup, uh, that means that the entity itself is new. However, we wouldn't really label ourselves as a traditional startup, you know, in the traditional meaning of the word. Rather, we are a conglomeration of institutions, organizations and multinational enterprises. Uh, this gave us access to the public and the private spheres uh, because we have an extremely large global network. What we work with are the truly top shelf partners and multinationals, as well as governmental and international support that we get for our project. Well, as you can see, we are predominantly focusing on smart agriculture, but the tech can be used and retrofitted for essentially any type of structure or industry with minor alterations. These can be eco villages, smart cities, smart grids, power plants, etc. So what do we do at SmartCast? Well, we are combining various peak performing technologies to increase the efficiency, reduce the costs and boost the production rate of greenhouses. Not only greenhouses, we are busy with any type of emerging technologies that can be somehow combined with high performing precision farming systems, such as SmartCAS itself. The combination of our unique technologies and innovative solutions enable previously inefficient or uneconomical processes or technologies to thrive. To give you an exact example of this, when you think about seawater purification, such as desalination plants, uh, they have existed for over millennia, you know, okay, not millennia, but uh, long, long time. However, they were extremely inefficient. This means that it required a larger energy input than actually the water output, so it was not worth it. However, with our new solutions, the solar fusion system, as well as various uh, uh, co-efficiency alterations, seawater desalination is now a fully profitable and efficient uh, tool to generating fresh water. As you can see, we are also bringing agriculture to the fourth industrial revolution. What that means is that we are trying to reimagine how an agricultural person, a worker, a farmer is thought of. More on that later. And lastly, we are working together with governments to create a better tomorrow and make an impact where it matters the most, which is food and water. So how do we do this? Well, if I wanted to give a quick summary and a quick overview into SmartCast, the project itself, I would say that this is an AI, drones and robotics assisted, high quality, high yield system that is fully green, self-sustainable and provides production and non-stop farming 24-7 all around the clock. This is an infinitely scalable and globally deployable system that uses no external sources of electricity, water and does not contribute to waste. This means that the structure uses zero external source of water, zero external source of electricity, and it requires no pre-existing infrastructure to function. When we put together the project and the technology, we realized that there were five pain points in the industry. These five pain points are namely the sun, the location, the resources, damage and sickness, as well as the human element. How do we tackle these? As you can see on the screen, on the left, uh, you see the five pain points uh, in relation to the traditional agricultural setting, and on the right are solutions as smart costs. Number one, when you take into account the total number of sunny hours per year, these are useful sunny hours, you come up with a number that is sub thousand. This means that there are less than thousand hours, optimally speaking, that you can use for proper farming. As opposed to that, SmartCast is truly 24-7 round the clock. This means that when you multiply 24 by 365, you get 8,760, which is the mathematical 
maximum number of hours, no hours wasted. Number two, uh, when you think of farming, you probably imagine a farmland, right? Only farming in natural areas, rural areas, on arable good land. But that's the past. Uh, when you think of smart cars, you can farm anywhere. This also means that you can farm inside the cities, on rooftops, frozen areas, tundras, or even in the desert. Number three, just like any other industry, agriculture uses a large amounts of electricity, water, contributes to waste and rising CO2 levels. With SmartCast, we do not use any external sources of water or electricity, and we do not contribute to any waste or CO2 levels. When you think of traditional agriculture, harvest is lost to birds, insects, and of course the diseases and sicknesses which are battled uh, with dangerous chemicals. As opposed to this, SmartCast is a hermetically closed system that prevents the enemies from coming inside. This means no outside forces can penetrate the system, no bacteria, no diseases, no birds, no insects, no loss. Another pain point for traditional agriculture is that it's manpower heavy. This is a very inefficient and expensive method of farming. Our solution with SmartCast is twofold. We have an A version and a B version. SmartCast A is fully unmanned and automated. This means that the AI, drones and robotics take care of the entire process from planting to irrigation to harvesting and also supply chain if you want to. And then the SmartCast B version involves humans. We understand that some governments, some of our clients, want to provide higher employment rates and give jobs to the people. In this case, SmartCast can provide a minimum of 12 to 15 or more jobs per hectare. These jobs are non-seasonal, non-volatile, year-round, stable jobs in very, very good conditions. Imagine that the farmers do not have to stand in the sun and burn, but stay inside in a climate-controlled, air-conditioned room working with the highest technologies possible. Now we're going to go into details about how we supply the structures with electricity, water, the various technologies, and what is the end result. First of all, we have to talk about the energy levels. The system itself is predominantly solar-powered. However, you shouldn't imagine traditional solar panels. Our system has a double glazed glass and the outside layer is full of solar receptors. It's a kind of transparent solar glass technology that lets through the sun. So during daytime, we can still utilize the natural power of the sun while at the same time generating electricity for the nighttime cycle. This together with our AI controlled structure provides for a fully energy and waste neutral system. This means that whatever enters the system does not leave it or when it leaves it, it's environmentally friendly. Now about water. Uh, as mentioned earlier, we have a self-sustainable water supply. We have three different methods for this. However, these methods can also be combined. Number one is the rain and freshwater preservation system. Here you have to imagine a closed system that keeps recirculating the water as much as possible, essentially without needing fresh water supply. However, this only works for certain crop types. Number two is the AVG, which is the atmospheric water generator. This can generate water in temperatures as high as 55 Celsius and humidity level as low as 10%, which makes it also an efficient tool in a desert or in extremely low humidity, hyper arid areas. And number three, or the biggest gun, is seawater desalination, which can essentially be scaled infinitely and produce large amounts of water for mega plantations. So how do we apply this to the real life? When you look at the MENA region especially, you see that the population corresponds with the aridity levels. This means that previously unused barren areas, such as the desert, can now essentially be transformed into fruit and water bearing structures, essentially reforesting the desert with smart cars. What you see here is that the waterless systems can function just as well in the desert and we can infinitely scale the seawater desalination devices. Our vision is to create a non-stop traffic between the sea and the middle of the desert. 
This would enable inbound traffic to continuously carry seawater and outbound traffic to carry back fresh produce. Our vision and mission with the Sahara is to turn it into the food bank of Africa. How do we bring farming to the fourth industrial revolution? Well, we start by utilizing natural resources, keeping running costs low, keeping the production value high and preserving fresh water. Next to this, we also want to protect the units from damages and sicknesses. So we are planning for long term and we want to reduce unnecessary human labor where it's applicable. Think of the middle of the desert or the ocean where you wouldn't want to work anyway. And of course, creating stable jobs as opposed to volatile seasonal jobs with higher level of sophistication. As we mentioned earlier, we are fully automated and unmanned structure, but we are also data driven. What this means is that we are not only present in the hardware world, you know, in the physical world, but also in the software side of things. We are collecting immense amounts of data, not only data related to plants and agriculture, but also data for AI, drones, robotics, climate conditions, renewable energy, and various other factors from the environment of SmartCAS. All of this data is then funneled together into a central database, which is made public as an open source data bank for everyone to use, which means that you can benefit from our findings even if you are not an active member of the SmartCAS initiative. SmartCAS is not all about greenhouses and physical structures. As you just heard, we also have a data project, but next to that, as a third pillar, we also have an AI and cloud computing uh, project, which can be then retrofitted into other industries. However, this creates a very nice snowball system, whereby the more data we have, the better the AI gets, and the better the AI gets, the more data we can collect. And then this ultimately contributes to the productivity of not only smart cars, but agriculture as a whole in the world. Uh, number four, which is somewhat separate from these pillars, is the smart houses. Uh, we are also building entire eco-villages and smart cities, which can be made possible using the exact same technology, the smart cost technology. Now, you have to imagine that these houses are not at the expense of luxury or looks. These are extremely beautiful, luxurious houses that can be built under three months. How? We are using pre-made Lego-like but environmentally friendly materials that can be pre-assembled, shipped and installed. The houses are also fully green and self-sustainable, just like SmartCast. Our system can be fully unmanned and automated, but at the same time, it's supposed to help people. How we usually refer to our technology is that it's a union between man and machine. It's a perfect symbiosis, whereby when the farmer finishes its work at five, six, 10, doesn't matter, the machine takes over for the night. And when the farmer comes back in the morning, everything kept going on, nothing was interrupted, and the machine has taken care of the plantation, has taken care of the technology, perfectly managing the levels all year round. We are very proud of the fact that we are an infinitely scalable, globally deployable and climate resistant system. We are infinitely scalable, not only in the technological sense that it can be built up as big or as small as you want it, but also in the business sense, which means that we can take on multiple projects and build multiple smart cost units in various continents all at the same time. The system can be globally deployed and it can function with the same efficiency pending feasibility studies in every single country of the world. This goes hand in hand with the fact that we are climate resistant, which means that whether it's cold or hot outside, we can manage the climate levels perfectly with the help of our sophisticated AI. Thank you for tuning into our presentation and join us for a better tomorrow. If you want to find out more about our technology and what we are doing, if you want to follow our mission, uh, you can do so by following our YouTube channel, where we're going to start a podcast starting next week. And you can also follow us on Spotify, Instagram, and you can join our network on LinkedIn.